Impenia, the new recommended state management solution for Vue 3, there are two ways to create a store. We can either define our state actions and getters in clearly defined sections, or we can create a function that acts like the setup function in the composition API. If you haven't heard of Pena before, go check out my recent video on it here to get a quick overview of how it works. But let's dive right into this. So I'll quickly go through the setup. Let's install Pena, and then in our main.js, import create Pena from Pena, and then say app.use create Pena. Inside a source slash stores folder, let's create a file called user.js. We want to import ref and computed from view and define store from Pena. We can then create our store saying export const use user store and set it equal to define store. We'll give it a name of user, and then the second property, where we've previously passed in an object, let's instead make an arrow function. And this acts pretty similarly to a component setup function. Let's create a const user and set it equal to a ref with a name of Matt and an email, and I'll set that to my email. And then for our getters, we can create computed properties. Let's say we want to extract the website from our email. We can say const website equals computed, and then we'll just get a substring using the index of the at symbol. Instead of defining actions, we can just create functions. And we'll create one called change name that takes in a new name and sets our user.value.name to our new name. Similar to a setup function, we want to return the things that we want to make available. So that'll be our user, change name, and website. Then inside of any view component, we can import use user store and set const store to use user store. Here we can access our state, change the values, and call any of the actions. In our template, let's create an h1 that prints the name, an h2 for the email, and for the website. And just as a quick example, let's create an input with a type of text, a placeholder of new name, and we'll make it vmodel a ref called name input. So let's import ref from view, create that name input, and set it equal to an empty string, and then save vmodel name input. Finally, let's create a button that when clicked calls a method called handle submit. So let's create handle submit in our script and we want it to call our store change name method with our name input.value. And then let's just set name input.value to an empty string so that it's easy to enter new values. And if we look at this, we see that all of our data is loading in correctly and we can type new values into this input. And when we click the button, all the different values are reactive. So that's all for this quick video. Let me know in the comments which way you prefer to write your Pena stores. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more view content.